husband's going to be home from work probably in about an hour, and I have done nothing all day. We're going to redeem ourselves. We're setting the mood. We're going to cook one of my family's favorite dinners, get the kitchen cleaned up. And honestly, being the true procrastinator that I am, like this is how I work. We're going to have a good dinner tonight. I'm making my family's favorite beef tips with mashed potatoes and a vegetable, probably some green beans or something, and work on getting some cleaning done. But while I clean, I am starting a new audio book. I just downloaded By a Thread by Lucy Score. I like to listen to books while I clean because it keeps me motivated. Otherwise, if I don't have anything to busy my mind while I'm cleaning, then I will give up and just stop. I hate cleaning, I despise it, I'm not somebody that enjoys it. So in order for me to get through the cleaning process, I have to have something going on in my brain where it kind of takes me into another world and that's where I bring in books. I listen to most of my books on Audible because I pay for the subscription, so you get like a certain amount of credits every month to download books. And then I open up the Audible book app on my Apple Watch, and I can stop and pause straight from my Apple Watch without having to carry my phone around with me. turn the saute mode on to start. We can cook the onions and just kind of brown up the meat first. this up just, just enough to get the onions cooked down and the beef kind of browned along the edges a little bit. My least favorite part is peeling the potatoes. Chicken broth. Who put that trash bag out on the porch? going to turn off the saute mode. I'm going to add a pack of this brown gravy mix. I'm going to add basically a whole thing of chicken broth. I mean, sorry, beef broth. The thing about the um, Instant Pot is that you have to have some sort of liquid in it when you're using a pressure cooker or else it'll give you a burning air or whatever. Alright, and then we're going to do pressure cook. We'll do it for 12 minutes at high temperature. I might have to turn it because I don't want the pressure to mess up my kitchen cabinets. So I turn it around. And then we're going to get the mashed potatoes going. Xavier, Xavier's peeling potatoes. Get those going. And then dinner will be pretty much done. I'm gonna cook some, probably some canned green beans or something and call it a day. <laughs> Doing besides lecturing your sister, watch it. This is the time of day where I start to get super overstimulated between the air vents and the kids going crazy. So the TV got to be turned down. What are you doing, Lilo and Grayson? Y'all not y'all need to get up and start picking up, picking up. You know, just like an apple off the floor. My kids do chores. I just have to stay on top of them because they get easily distracted. You still got trash down here. Yep, all of these boxes need to be broken down. <coughs> Everything in recycling. Normally I would cook green beans with this meal, but 
we don't have any, so I'm gonna cook some good old fashioned canned corn. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of corn, but my kids eat it well, so. I'm gonna add a little bit of better than Boulon chicken base. Butter, clean. I'm gonna start sweeping stuff up and whatever's left on the floor is going in the trash. Of course, while we're all cleaning, this one is dumping everything out and making more mess. Yes, I will. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. So now we gotta do the scary part. See, got the hot water on my toes. Great stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Now we get to start mashing. It's not mashed potatoes unless you have butter. Whew, I can finally turn off of that air vent. That thing is... Brutal. Boy, you are just being a little troublemaker tonight. Get back here. Get back here. Mashed potatoes are done. The corn's done. I might have burnt it a little bit, but just don't tell nobody. We'll see how they see if they eat it or not. <laughs> uh, just waiting on the beef to get done. So in the meantime, I'm going to try to fold a little laundry before my husband gets home before we serve dinner. So this is my time where I try to like pick up, get everything reset, get the kids on their chores while dinner is cooking so that by the time we get done eat, eating, everybody can do like a quick little cleanup, kitchen cleanup, and then we'll be able to relax the rest of the night um, unless it's bath night. But most for the most part, since we're not having bath time tonight, once once dinner's done, we'll be able to throw everything in the dishwasher and then relax the rest of the night, which is my goal by the end of the night, so. Finally, it's done. Everything is done. And then Paxson just fell asleep, and it's 6.30. He didn't have a nap today. So is he gonna be out for the night, or is he gonna be waking up at nine o'clock, and we're gonna have a weird night, we'll see. This is what we got. It smells really good. We got me and just the perfect consistency of gravy. I'm excited. This is one of my favorite meals that I cook personally. I don't know if my kids actually super duper love it, but they eat it pretty good. Um, we're gonna use the little kid plates. Grayson, please be quiet in the hallway. Paxson's sleeping. My husband's not home yet. I don't know where he's at. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these kids fed because I'm ready to shut down this kitchen and go to bed <laughs> or relax and read my book. Here's how we serve it. Beef, we do the beef and gravy right over the mashed potatoes, corn, so good. Put my husband's plate in the microwave. Get a little bit of beef and your mashed potatoes and gravy, everything on your fork. Like this. Mmm. And the beef is so tender. The mashed potatoes are so creamy. You didn't make the beef too hard or too... 